Hey guys, this is Scott from Scott's Garage and today I got something a little special. We're going to make a knife out of a file. This file I got at Harbor Freight for two dollars and it's the perfect thing because it's very very hard steel and it'll also be a combo blade because you're gonna have a sharp edge on one side and you're still going to have the use of a file for doing other things and we're going to keep our handle the trick to doing this is keeping this cool at all times you don't want it to get hot so it keeps it very hard tempered we are going to make a sheath that ain't going to cost anything and we're going to use a piece of PVC uh, heated PVC which will then be flattened It'll make the perfect sheath that's going to lock in place and everything. So, yeah, let's get started on this. Bench grinder and a big bucket of water to make sure your file stays cold. You do not want it to get hot. So you do a couple pass on the grinder and you cool it down right away. I got a piece of PVC here. Uh, it's a one inch. I'm going to cut it length of my, my file so roughly somewhere around here and that's gonna be our blank create our sheath. I like to make a nice little point in the front and mark exactly where I'm going to start my edge here. Personally, you see where the file mark starts? That's where I'm going to start my, my edge. So let's get started on grinding. Keep it nice and cool. I'm gonna keep going until I have an edge on both sides. And we're have, gonna have ourselves a nice little knife. shape done so now I'm just gonna start taking down material for my edge and cooling every pass I make to make sure that I don't lose my temper out of my file that way it'll be a knife that you're gonna keep forever because it's really thick so you can sharpen it as often as you like and it's very strong you know and the best part you don't have a handle to make you already have a handle I've been grinding away for about 20 minutes I'm down to about half so I'm getting there Keeping in mind my blade never got hot. Every pass I did, I dunked it in water. This is gonna be one tough blade. Okay, I went as far down as I want to. The rest is all gonna be with a stone. So there's my bevel on one side. Here's my bevel on the other side. 
You know what a neat thing? We still get our file top. So it makes a great fire starter. My blade never got hot, not even close. So you know this thing is really hard. Okay, here I put my whetstone and my wooden vise. I just put a plastic so the water wouldn't hit my vise too much. I decided to do my edge on a block of wood with 220. Um, I had too much to do for the uh, stone so I'm going to start off with 220 and get my edge super straight then I'll go to the stone. It's pretty nice. I'm done with straightening out my edge. Looks really nice. And this is where the stone comes in. I'm gonna go on a even sharper angle and just passes, three, four passes on one side, three, four passes on the other. Okay, the second edge is put on. It's hard to see on the camera, but there it is. And it's down to about 100 grit. Okay, so I can feel an edge, but it's not, I mean, I couldn't cut anything with it. So now it's time to start working up in our grit until we reach about a thousand. And this thing will be razor sharp. Okay, right now I'm working with 600 so it's getting really really sharp so make sure you don't start cutting yourself I'm using 600 and I'm just polishing my both of my edges that by itself makes it a whole lot sharper because the, the grit is going up real quick and uh, I can feel it it's sharp that's what a polish does yeah, I can see see my face in in the the bevel. Now oh, that's polished. The other side's the same. It's getting pretty darn sharp. I'm probably gonna go to I don't know 1500 or something. It'll be like a mirror. What I'm doing right now is removing all the micro scratches. That's why I got uh, like a magnifying glass on my head so I can get in really close. Basically this is a polish by hand. I just go up and grit up, 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 up until I'm satisfied. Right there, perfect with the light. You can see my two bevels. That's what we want. And there, there's the other one. Now I'm just polishing everything to make it like a mirror. I'm almost there. There's still a, a few micro scratches I'm still removing. Right now I'm up to 600 and I'm going up to 1500. Okay, for the sheath part, PVC, one inch. Bring it down to about here. You see, it snaps in. So when we put the heat to it, it's gonna contour the handle. It'll make it nice and tight, so where it can't come out by itself. So now all we gotta do is heat this up and press down where the blade is, and you'll have a really nice sheath. in to where we want about here okay now we're gonna put our board on top to press it now we're gonna wait a few minutes and release it 
and we're just gonna shape our, our sheath and we're gonna have the perfect thing. And I'm gonna put some holes in the sheath so you can either wear it around your belt, your leg, your neck, whatever you want. It ain't coming out by itself, that's for sure. So now all I gotta do is shape it. And the hole in the bottom, that's a good thing because if you're carrying it in the woods and the water gets in it, if it's raining, it'll always drain, so that's a good thing. So now all we gotta do is sand this and paint it. Okay, I drilled the hole in the bottom. I got one on top. All right, now I'm gonna sand the whole thing and we're gonna paint it. There it is. Nice sheet. Knife. All I gotta do is put in a couple pieces of paracord. I added uh, some holes there and some paracord. I thought I'd give it a little touch. There you have it.